adding an unsubscribe link to your emails is not only required by GDPR, it is also a good email marketing practice. The opt-out link should lead to a page confirming that the unsubscription was successful. Before adding such a link to your emails, first, set up the URLs of your landing pages that the user will be taken to after unsubscribing. Using the unsubscribe link, you can redirect recipients to any custom landing page, for example, your website.com slash unsubscribe. You can add it to the platform before or while creating your message. Using an unsubscribe link, you can redirect recipients to the system page available in the platform. Use it if your custom landing page is not ready yet. You can indicate your own landing pages in two places in the platform. First, you can do it in the landing pages settings in the unsubscription pages section. Simply paste the URL there before you start creating your message. This will help you avoid having to constantly add the URL in the message editor. A second method of adding an unsubscribe link is available directly in the message editor. It can be useful from a marketing point of view. You can insert there the URL of a unique landing page created for a particular message or a particular campaign. To do this, go to the unsubscribe landing page section in the recipient stage. If you fill in this field, the system will automatically redirect the user to a unique unsubscribe page instead of the general one indicated earlier in the settings. If you leave this field empty, we will redirect users to your standard landing page indicated in the settings. Bear in mind that if you include an unsubscribe link in the message, but we cannot find the URLs of the landing pages in both mentioned places, we will redirect recipients to the system page indicated in the landing pages settings. By clicking this button, you can see what it looks like. Now let's add an unsubscribe link to the email. It can either be a standard link or a button. In most newsletters, the unsubscribe link takes the form of an underlined call to action. You can easily add such a link in the message editor. Click the content section, add a structure, and place a text block in it. Enter the text that will link to the landing page. Next, highlight it and click the Change Link icon in the menu above. Link options will appear in the panel on the left. In the Link field, select the Unsubscribe link. Dynamic content will appear next to it. It will redirect recipients to the appropriate landing page. You don't have to change or add anything to it. In the following sections, select the color, underline, and position of the link. If you want to add an unsubscribe link in the form of a button, similarly to the previous method, in the content section, add a structure and then place a button block in it. Button options will appear in the panel on the left. In the link section, select the unsubscribe link from the list. Dynamic content will appear in the field next to it. You don't have to change or add anything to it. In the button label field, enter the text that you want to display on the button. In the following sections, give your button a look and feel that matches your email design. And that's it. Now you know how to set up custom unsubscribe landing pages, use system landing pages, and add an unsubscribe link to your emails.